All right, guys, thanks for joining me again today. Another strip till topic. I love these topics. I love the last questions. So I always refer to my farm. I always say it works on my farm. Do not get hung up on that. That is a disclaimer. Basically, that's an old habit from when you talk on forums. If you go to Ag Talk and you talk about no till or strip till, you get 400 other people that are going to fight you and argue on it and say they were at the cafe and the guy across the table had a neighbor who had a brother in law who knows a guy that had a cousin that tried no till one time and it was a complete disaster. And that guy that tried no till had a sister's brother's cousin that tried strip till once and it was a complete fraud. And uh, okay, thanks for joining that conversation, guys. Good input. Um, so I just kind of disclaimer it by saying on my farm, force a habit, strip till works everywhere. If you can no-till, you can strip till. If you can conventional till, you can strip till. So then the other questions are what about, you know, is strip till, does it work in my area because I have a soil that's just compatible to strip till? Do I have weather that's compatible to strip till? No. It works in my area and it's working for me because I made it work for me. I did not go into this thinking, eh, I hope it works. No, I went into strip till thinking I am going to make this work. There's no reason that it can't work. And it turns out there isn't a reason why it didn't work. It worked fantastic. Um, so there are so many choices of row units out there. Strip till is extremely adaptable. Do you want to use it as a fertilizer tool or not? Do you want to use it as a deep ripper or a shallow coulter because the market's there. Everything from a Coulter unit from Don Pluribus running at four inches deep to Unverfirth Ripper Stripper and Orthman and some of the big heavy duty things running 16, 18 inches deep. Um, you, the, the sky's the limit there. You got companies like Soil Warrior that make both row units, a, a big Coulter unit and a shank unit. Uh, Blue Jet, we've talked about them before. Their row units are compatible and, and component buildable. Um, crowd, I mean, there's just, the list is endless. You just have to figure out your soils as to which unit's gonna work good. And like I said before, you talk to these companies, have them get you a row unit for a demonstration, um, go to the farm shows and talk to these guys and show them your soil, bring an ice cream bucket of your soil or you know what your dirt is like and talk to them to see how their role is gonna work on your farm. Um, it, it's that simple. Do not get too hung up on type of soil or type of weather program. It works. I am able to go where I went with the um, my disc ripper. Come springtime, when I normally would have been out with a finisher, or even some disc ripping because it was too muddy the previous fall, I go out with the strip till machine. It's that simple. It, this, if, if you're focusing on weather and, and these other conditions, you're, you're thinking way too hard about strip till. It is not that hard. There's a guy to the south of me, there's a couple guys to the south of me in another town that are doing it. Um, and so the three of us bounce a lot of ideas off, look at our results from any testing that we're doing. The one guy, he, he came from conventional till to no till to strip till, and he's been adapting his fertility management throughout the last several years to just what's accommodating him the best and as new stuff comes onto the market to make fertility management that much better. Um, the other guy was a conventional till to no till guy um, to incorporating some strip till, especially for his corn, with no fertilizer. He liked his current fertility program, so he stuck with that. The only thing he was using strip till for was to correct some issues he was having in no till. And it, it kept him from going back to conventional till. He's getting conventional till yields and quality of stand. You get that perfect evenness across the field from one end to the other, from one corner to the other. Um, we're on no-till in our area. Some of them fields would get a little wavy. You'd have yellow spots and, and spots that were late emergence because some residue blew back over on your, on your uh, planting strip and stuff like that. 
And so strip till is so adaptable, it is so forgiving, and it's such a learnable thing that, like I say, if you can put a crop in your ground right now for row crop, obviously you're not going to strip till for wheat or, or sown crops, but for row crop work, if you can get a crop in your soil and your weather right now, strip till will work. It's that simple. And so I, I, I I don't know how to make it any more simple than that. I'm going to end right there. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or want to keep this going, let's keep it going. I'm kind of having fun with these, but it, we don't have to overthink it. You're already getting the crop in. Keep putting the crop in. Let's incorporate strip till so you can start saving money on parts and fuel and overhead expenses and fertilizer and time and labor and all that stuff and spend more time at home with your family or enjoying your crop that you got in that much faster. All right guys, thanks for watching.